The ocean, a truly fascinating area of research. Worldwide, scientists investigate how the ocean interacts with the climate system, how sea levels rise and Arctic sea ice melts. They examine the mechanisms of submarine earthquakes and tsunamis, and they demonstrate how the seas could be used more sustainably as a source for food, energy and minerals. German scientists play a leading role within this global research network. Here, cooperation is a must. In Germany, all major marine institutes cooperate within KDM, the German Marine Research Consortium, a first-class point of contact for decision-makers, industry and international partners. One of the strengths of the marine research in Germany is that we cover the whole field from observations to analysis and modeling. We are covering the open ocean and the coastal regions and all scientific fields. And we have a very good uh, infrastructure. KDM Institute supply cutting edge technologies. Manned submersiles and remotely operated diving tools explore the ocean down to 6,000 meters. Autonomous underwater vehicles map the largely unexplored sea floor with utmost precision. Offshore mesocosms allow experimental insights into how increasing levels of carbon dioxide affect marine life. Last but not least, KDM scientists develop long-term observatories to be deployed at key positions. Ocean observatories are very important because they allow us a much better uh, collection of data over the seasons, but also during times when we have uh, difficult weather conditions like storms. And they allow a high resolution observa observations so that we can understand much better what happens in certain events. Each dive opens a window to a world which is dark and cold, but absolutely fascinating. The evolution of life may have begun at locations like these. White and black smokers eject fluids utilized by highly specialized microbial organisms. A true interface between geology and biology. And an oasis in the deep, sustaining rich biological communities. This kind of research is based on close cooperation with international partner institutes and the industry. However, KDM science covers much more than the deep sea. Coastal research and open ocean research are having different aspects, different uh, topics. In coastal research we have mainly the applied aspects, that is the danger and risks which come from the ocean. It is uh, use of the coastal area for various uh, aspects, fisheries uh, and energy uh, and Shipping, for instance. KDM scientists are tackling challenging themes like these. They are aware of the fact that this calls for a better cooperation between natural and social scientists, and they take responsibility for an efficient transfer of scientific results into society. Our main task is observing changes predicting future changes and uh, advising stakeholders on adaptations. The ocean is used heavily to produce oil and gas. In the near future, the sea floor may be explored for methane hydrate as a new form of energy, but also as a deposit site for the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. Minerals such as copper and zinc, silver and gold are buried in the sea floor not to mention rare elements required for high-tech products. KDM scientists can give advice on how to bring these resources to the surface more sustainably. And that is another role what marine science can do. It needs to protect the ocean even if we have to use it more strongly than up to now. It is crucial to protect the ocean 
not least because it is a source for fish and other food, as well as for bioproducts, such as pharmaceuticals. To secure our ocean's future, we should not put it at ever-increasing risks. For the next uh, five years of KDM, I think we have to strengthen our function as an information platform in the direction of policy and stakeholders and public. There's a great demand for information uh, because many decisions have to be taken. KDM institutes are prepared to deliver the information needed. KDM. 15 institutions, one voice.